The Middle East hosts some of the richest families in the world, and the royal families that come from the Middle East truly know how to enjoy their billions. Hello guys and welcome back to another video on our channel. In today's video, we shall be taking an in-depth look into how the king of Dubai splurges his billions. When anyone says the word Dubai, one's thoughts automatically go to a place filled with modern technology, entertainment, tourism, and of course rich royal family. The king and his family have been blessed with a lot of money, and the family has truly spent their money on quite a few gorgeous assets. The current king of Dubai is Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, who was born into royalty and was exposed to most sports that the rich indulge in. Yes, this includes horsemanship, hunting, and much more. If you're wondering where he comes from, he comes from Al Shindaga, where he was born and raised. Once he was a little older, he attended the Al Ahmadiyya School, following which he attended the Dubai Secondary School. On graduating from here, he headed to Bell Language School and the Mons Officer Cadet School. Many of his family members have also been known to have attended these institutions. Now before we get into listing out his various luxuries, let's take a look at a few of his hobbies and interests. Just like many members of the Dubai royal family, horse riding and racing has been something that he spends his free time indulging in. Since he was blessed with so much money, he decided to use his billions and spend it on starting up his own space for horses. And that's how he came about owning the Godolphin Stables. If you have not heard about these stables, here's a little bit about them. But before we get into telling you about them, you must know that horses are expensive animals, and it costs quite a lot to race them. Godolphin is a private thoroughbred horse racing stable whose main headquarters are in Dubai. They also have two racing stables in Sydney, two in Newmarket, and one in Melbourne. The horses that are present in these stables are of top breed and are trained by trainers who come from all across the world. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum looks over most of the operations that take place in these stables and is very involved in its various operations. The horses that are present in these stables have been made to compete in both national and international competitions in which they have won quite a few prizes and awards. Now, apart from having huge investments in horses, he also is a big fan of exquisite architecture and large masses of land. In short, the king loves investing in real estate. Dubai may seem small in terms of land, but the king, apart from investing in Dubai, has invested in different parts of the world as well. Right from beautiful bungalows to vast farmlands, the man has it all. The United Kingdom is one place where not only the King of Dubai has shown interest in real estate-wise, but many other royal members as well. The UK is filled with beautiful greenery and exquisite landscapes that it makes it so hard to not invest in land over there. In fact, you would be shocked to know that the King has spent almost 100 million British pounds on real estate in the UK. These millions of pounds have helped him secure approximately 100,000 acres of land here on which he has built beautiful homes. The Guardian and Transparency International have spoken very highly of his investment in real estate in the UK and have even stated that he's one of the largest owners of real estate in the UK. Apart from racking up his real estate portfolio in the UK, he also has quite a few real estate investments in Rome. He has many more properties as well, but not every one of them has been confirmed. Another fun fact about these investments of his is that most of them are part of his offshore companies. If you're wondering why he purchased properties through these companies, well, that's because he wanted to avoid having to pay heavy taxes. Property taxes are no joke, and evading them this way is pretty smart. Now, we know the king owns a lot of land all across the world, but now let's look into what homes he has built on them. If we are to be honest about his properties, he has quite a variety of them, right from the stucco houses to huge villas and even stables. In addition to this, he's also said to own 25,000 hectares of estates in the beautiful Scottish Highlands. Another estate that he owns and is worth mentioning is his Suffolk estate, which he purchased in 2009. If you're wondering how much money he had to shell out to own this, well, it was a whopping 45 million pounds. This estate is now being used as a grade 2 listed stud farm. The king also has a long cross house near Cobham in Surrey. This property is said to be worth 75 million pounds. He lives here quite often and is usually found visiting this property whenever Dubai's heat becomes quite exhausting. But if we are to pick a favorite amongst all the homes that he owns, we will have to go with his holiday home, which is located in the Scottish Highlands. This holiday home is built on 63,000 acres of estate. The holiday home also comes with some amazing features, such as helipads and much more. Now, enough with his properties. Let's take a quick look at the fancy set of yachts that he owns. Dubai is one magnificent $400 million that this king owns. It was actually going to be bought by Prince Jeffrey Bulkia of Brunei, but now the king of Dubai owns it. The yacht is gorgeous and comes with quite a few exotic features, such as a cinema theater, a submarine, a disco, and much more. Cars, too, are something that the king loves to splurge on. 
If you're wondering about the long list of cars that he owns, here goes. He owns a $1.2 million Bugatti Veyron Picasso, a Rolls-Royce Ghost Custom Gold, a Rolls-Royce Phantom Drophead Coupe, a Koenigsegg CCXRI, and a $1.8 million modified version of the New Devil 16. He also happens to be a big fan of Mercedes and owns around 20 Mercedes AMG G63, 3 Mercedes G550s, and 2 Mercedes G650s. And this is not all. He has plenty of other cars too, but we just mentioned now are the best of the lot that he owns. But the bigger question is, does he use them all and where does he keep them? Well, he uses his Mercedes quite often. As for the other cars, whenever an occasion arises, he is often seen making use of them as well. As for where he keeps them, it has been said that he keeps all of his vehicles at his palace. Speaking of palaces, the Zabil Palace is mostly where he stays and the security and amenities of this palace are quite exquisite. Maintaining them is also quite expensive and costs him extra. The King of Dubai is quite an entrepreneurial mind and hence he was able to take Dubai to the next level and help it gain global recognition. In fact, he owns quite a few companies, some of the prominent ones being Dubai Holding and Dubai World. Istithmar World, DP World, and Nakheel Properties are some entities that come under Dubai World and they have been garnering him massive fame and profits for quite some time now. Dubai Holding, on the other hand, deals with an amalgamation of a lot of businesses that fall into the categories of real estate, the hospitality industry, the telecommunication industry, and much more. Apart from investing in Dubai-based companies, he also has put his money into Sony. He has quite a large amount of stake in that company as well. Apart from spending a lot on himself and his family, he's also known to have a huge heart as he loves to give to charity. The Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum Foundation is one such foundation that he started up, and all the money that's collected here goes towards a charitable cause. In fact, this foundation is one of the largest charity organizations in the world. The donations made by him towards this organization run in millions. In fact, it has been stated that he has spent around $100 million on charity. Apart from supporting this organization, he has also given away $5 million towards the World Trade Center Victims' Appeal. He truly is a king with a big heart. The really big question in all your minds right now would be, how much is the King of Dubai worth? Well, for starters, he's worth a lot. But to be precise, the King of Dubai has been estimated to hold a net worth of a massive $14 billion. Now with that, we come to the end of our video. We hope that you had a great time with us, and we can't wait to see you in the next video. Before you go, do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to support our efforts in making these videos. See you soon!